Yeah. Where in the world are you right now? I am in Montreal. We're walking in the streets. Sorry if it's a little bit like cut out and stuff. We're just trying to walk to the car. Nah, it's all good. You did uh, 60 shows with Shawn Mendes. Pretty freaking amazing. How was that? Thanks. <laughs> it was awesome. We're still we're still here. We got a couple weeks left, but it's been like crazy. Oh. So tired, but it's been so much fun. Jeez. Okay, let's dive into this EP. Yeah. This summer, coming out September 6th. Are, are you talking about this summer? Your summer on the road with Sean? Um, well, not necessarily. I mean, one of the songs actually is about my experience on this tour and making new friends and stuff. Uh, that song's called October. But the rest, I think, is just kind of a collection of stories that I had, you know, in the back of my head that I wanted to write about. But I wrote them all this summer. Actually, I kind of wrote them all in like one week um, this summer, which was kind of really fun. And I've never really done that before. So, yeah. W- were you on the road while doing it? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I wrote a lot of it, like, just, like, inside the bus, and we did, like, we set up, like, a little studio in the bus with uh, my producer, John Levine, and we just, like, fresh out all the songs there. Cool. What, what is the story yeah. behind OK OK? Because I feel like, I feel like you're talking to yourself. Yeah, I definitely am. Um, sorry, this is, like, the loudest street on the planet. <laughs> um, yeah, so the song was kind of, I guess... I, I, well, the story behind it basically is that my friend, my best friend, Olivia, who travels with me, she's always like trying to get me to write like a, she calls it a cocky song where it's like, you've got to write a song where we can just dance to and feel, feel ourselves and like where you tell yourself how cool you are and how great you are. And I was like, I don't really know if I've ever done that. Like all my empowerment songs are kind of like more emotional. And so I was like, I don't know if I could do that. It's not very me. Um, and then when I was in the studio, she was like, okay, today's the day. Like you got to do it. And so um, my producer, John Levine, played me this beat that sounded, like, really cool. And it felt super light. And I don't, didn't really think I could write anything emotional over it, particularly. So I was like, you know what? Today's the day. I'm going to write Olivia's cocky song for her. Um, and so I just put myself in the almost, like, satirical place of, like, what would I say if I, you know, thought I was, like, the coolest thing on earth? Um, so the song is, like, super sarcastic, but it's also, like, my way of trying to convince myself that I'm really cool. And the best, and I feel like everybody deserves to feel like they're the best sometimes, so that's kind of what I was trying to do. But it's, it's definitely not a serious song. It's kind of like a fun one and probably the most light song I've ever made. Okay, okay. He's on your radio right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, there's a lyric in there, fake it until you make it. Can you give me a little context yeah. to that line? Well, I think, you know, the way to getting yourself to feel certain things sometimes is just pretending you do until you do, or at least for me. Yeah. So when it comes to feeling confident in yourself, sometimes you just have to wear that skin until it becomes your own, I guess. Um, so that's that's kind of what I was saying. Have you caught yourself or felt like you had to fake it until you made it? And, like, by the way, do you feel like you've made it? Um, well, I think it changes every day. I think it's normal to change every day. You know, you're not going to feel your best all the time. But then I do have moments now where, like, I do really, you know, feel confident in myself. And I think it's, while it is an everyday sort of battle, I'm in a way better place than I used to be. Like, I'm so, I'm also, like, learning how to take compliments way more, you know, because even back in the day, like, when people would just say, like, oh, I like your shirt or I like your hair, I'd be like, really? Oh, no, it's that. And just, like, learning how to accept compliments and accept love from other people has been really helpful too so i feel like i'm in a, in a way better space tonight than i used to be that does help you grow right because if you can take in the positive that does affect your mood and absolutely yeah exactly like giving that to yourself and accepting it from other people too like while it can be a very hard thing to do that it's you know it's so much better because you're just i don't know you're giving that energy to yourself yeah you're allowing it to come into your zone Instead of, like, putting exactly. the kibosh on a, the second somebody says, oh, nice shirt, you know, oh, you're lying. It's yeah. actually ugly. I hated it. i do that. Exactly. It's like something like that. Like, oh, you're, you're really pretty or you look good today. I'll be like, no, I look tired or this and that. Like, we don't ever know how to accept. Just say thank you, you know. So that's something I've been working on as well. October is a record on the EP. But, but by the way, what, what story are you trying to tell with this whole body of work? Um, I think it's, I've, I've never really written this way. You know, I, I've been writing from a place of just, I guess just, a, I don't know, like more confident, I guess, and a place of 
peace within myself and, and seeing things from a different perspective and just being feeling lighter about things and letting things happen the way they should. Whereas on my last records, like I was always taking the emotional angle because I'm a very emotional person. But I think this record, while it is very emotional in a lot of ways, it's just a lot lighter. And I'm just trying to like brush off a lot of the problems that I've encountered in the last couple of months. And I guess it's just, yeah, the story of how I've changed my perspective on a certain situation or certain situations. Um, but October is probably the most, I think, emotional song on the whole on the whole thing, for sure. And that's the one that's connected to this past summer and the tour you were on. Yeah, absolutely. I feel I felt like, you know, these last few months and being on this tour and making all these friends was a really healing experience for me and a beautiful experience. And we always reminisce on how, you know, like collectively for us, it was like some of the best few months of our lives in so many different ways and for a bunch of different reasons. But I think the tour and everything outside of the tour was just super healing. And I really just felt like I needed that. And so I wanted to make a song to encapsulate that feeling that you know is going to go away eventually, right? Because, you know, everything ends and the tour is going to end soon. But I really just wanted to capture that because, you know, I've made a lot of great friends and I've kept a lot of friends that I've had so much more fun with this year. And it's just really, it's been really great. Does October, the title, signify the end of all of it? Kind of, yeah, because October, you know, the month and the fall time kind of symbolizes the death or the end of something. But also October is kind of when... Um, you know, this tour is going to be done and I'm going to be off the road. Well, aside from my own thing that's happening. But yeah, that's, by the way, you go, after. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, you go right back out on the road. <laughs> you have a headlining tour. I know. I know. I'm going to have to write another song called November about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that kind of wild to think that, like, when you look back, just from this moment, there's well over 60 shows just this past season under your belt, but your road life doesn't end here. <laughs> It continues. I know it doesn't. It doesn't. It's it's so hard to remember sometimes that I have like my own thing going on because I've been so immersed in this that I'm like, oh yeah, like I have a whole other thing coming. I just feel like I'm constantly touring and doing more stuff, which is great. Obviously, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to do it. But it's kind of funny because you get so immersed in something that you forget there's like a whole other facet to your job. You know, that's like a different thing. Is it? I, we have so much to talk about. I could talk about touring forever. Um, because I, I want to know, like, would you rather write in the middle of a tour or would you rather be in a zone in, where it's nothing else going on and that's all you have to focus on is your songs? Um, I guess it depends. I felt like, I mean, I never usually write this much on tour. Um, I felt like just this time I needed to. It was something that I just needed to get out then, like at that exact moment. Um, but I think I usually prefer to have a little bit of time and, and space to do my my own thing because writing is such a involved process where I need like it needs my full attention. Yeah. Um, so I kind of just usually like to set aside time, but I felt like with this stuff, I just needed to get it out now, and it it ended up being just as productive as it would have if I did set aside time. So I guess now it it just depends on what I'm feeling really. This summer, September sixth, that's when the EP drops. But right now, for your ears, turn your radio up. Because uh, this record is called OK, OK. Sweet. OK? <laughs> OK. O- OK. Cool. OK, OK. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> okay.